Now, before we get into the flea market, I wanted to let you guys know that my Pop Around the World Canada episode is available now. You can watch it right now over on Original Funko's YouTube channel, and I'll have it linked in the description down below. But now, let's get going. All right, everybody, we are outside of the flea market. You might have noticed somebody behind me here. Nate is also going to be doing a video today. Yeah, I am, and we're gonna, I'm going to be mostly checking out the Pokemon booths. I know Tristan's here for Pops. Exactly. And a little cool. bit of Lego and everything, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited about it. And also, I feel like you're going to be showing off a lot of different booths that I wouldn't normally go to, so that could be kind of fun. Yeah. And now the first booth that we came into is this one. And I feel like a lot of you guys probably recognize this section because I pretty much check it out every single time we come. And it looks like they do have some pretty interesting figures. Like usually towards the top, that's where the new stuff goes. And so I'm seeing like Hercules is new as well as like, oh, Captain Cold. I don't remember seeing him last time. Kind of interesting. As well as like the TIE Fighter Pilot, Green Goblin. We've got Fearless Leader, Ed and Ayn, which is really cool. And so I don't know, guys, just a great booth in general. Okay, now hold on. Who is this? Is this the top? Taco Bell dog. Oh, would you look at that guys? It actually is. Now I came into the same booth just a little bit farther down and they have some other stuff here that I figured I might as well show like the giant alien remix Woody as well as up here there's some of the Disney villains villains assemble Scar with hyenas as well as Hades with pain and panic. Pretty cool to see. Oh and now you know what guys I almost missed this but up at the top here they actually have a three pack of dorps from 2016. It's the Batman Returns ones and that Danny DeVito penguin looks pretty crazy. Now guys I found another booth with dorps as well as pops and I'm seeing if there's anything new from the last time I was here and if I'm gonna be honest I don't really know it's been a little while it's hard to remember so I figure I'll just show it off and see if there's anything that stands out to me like that Civil War Iron Man in the back there as well as uh, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy Star Lord looks really great and then over here I noticed the Pikachu as well as the Black Lantern reverse flash which is honestly one of my favorite flashes now everybody we are coming up on a huge Funko booth this one over here I mean look at it it is wall-to-wall -wall figures and now as soon as I walked in, I noticed this over here guys the Optimus Prime pop mask pretty neat to see oh and it looks like they also have some fun $5 pass left. Okay, now we might as well take a look at the back section here where they've got a bunch of Deadpools and this one is one that you don't see very often, but the way they've got them unmasked with kind of like the not so great looking skin is kind of funny on the pop. Now we're over here in the Star Wars section where they've got a lot of blue box ones, which I always enjoy looking at. And also check this out guys, the C-3PO inside of like this chrome protector. I like that a lot. And now I don't know if I'm going to be going for that one today, but the one that did kind of stand out to me is this fin over here with this weird EB sticker. It's definitely an old one and I like that they've got them unmasked. And now we've come over to the far side here where they've got a bunch of movies as well as Disney stuff And I really do like looking through these ones here because it's fun to see like older figures like this Minnie Mouse And there was another one too that stood out to me. Ah, Mowgli over here Like I mean come on when's the last time you saw him in stores? So definitely cool to check it out to see what they've gotten Fred is a really neat one Which I did pick up a little while ago and they've also got like Robin Hood for like 30 bucks, but he's damaged Ah, if he wasn't damaged I'd probably go for him because I mean come on look at how great that is and actually now that I think about it I do have him out of box so it really is just me trying to look for a decent box for him, so that's why I'm probably not going to be going for him. If I didn't have him at all, 30 bucks would have been a good deal though. And then if you guys want to take a look at this while they've got a bunch of their horror stuff, which is honestly really cool to see like Buffy up at the top there, as well as, ooh, Director Coulson with Lola from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I kind of forgot that that figure existed, but it's really neat to see her, especially because the car is floating. Oh, now hold on guys, way up at the top here in the bigger figures, I noticed two versions of the giant lady, which is part of like the Asia Myths ones, and I see that the bottom one has some slight box damage, but the top one's only 40 bucks without it, so maybe I'll be back for this one later. Okay, so I didn't end up picking up anything over at that booth, but I'm thinking of going back for that giant lady, so now let's just keep walking. And anyway, I found some out-of-box figures if you guys want to check it out, like Mikey and Mickey, and then some Power Rangers down here if you guys want to see them. Nemo is really cool, as well as Tron, and then over here we've got some of the Harry Potter mystery minis, and then Ham, the only Toy Story figure I missed out on. I don't know why I passed on him. It was like maybe, I don't know, 2015, 2016, and I never got him. I don't know, I'm debating on him. Now everybody, we've made it over to King Dave's Collectibles, where I'm probably gonna be picking up my first thing for today, just because of the amount of stuff they've got. And like the first spot we found, guys, is the Disney section, which I always love to dig through, like we did over at the other booth, and I'm seeing, is there anything that I need? Like this one here, the original Beast is pretty cool, and if the box isn't too bad, I might go from actually, this thing's looking pretty clean. It is a figure that I need, and looking on the back here, ooh, yeah, I might have to go for this. Now hold on, no, I see you looking at a pop over here. I have a task for you. Oh, oh right, you got into war Warhammer recently. Yes, I've been yes. watching a lot of lore videos. Okay. Try to find this right here. Who I didn't is know it? This existed. Who is it? The Ultramarine. Oh, okay. Well, you know they have one that you could paint too. I'm not very good at painting. No, but that. Okay, I, I'll look for it. You keep your eyes up. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Yeah. Oh, and now hold on. I thought you were going to be getting them. Are you actually getting that one? I think I might. Okay. And I mean, they are two for 15 on the shelf, so <laughs> we got to really squeeze in here. The box but, kind uh, of mangled a bit. But, yeah, but honestly, for what, kinda, 10 bucks? I would probably just take it out. Yeah, you can't complain. I mean, it's only 10 bucks. Oh, Nate, sorry. It's so close to your yeah, face. We're, we're, we're <laughs> 
<laughs> we're, a little, we're a little tight over here. And then we of course have to take a look in the cabinet where they've got a couple Freddies down here, like the Judo Freddies Will's birthday. We've got the Rocketeer over here, some sports ones. And up at the top, we've got like the Chase Ironheart. Bosk is really cool. Oh, and I didn't even notice, guys. It looks like they got in some of the 18 inch figures. So we've got the Pikachu one. And then on the other side, Harry Potter with Hedwig. And then over here in the bigger figure section, it seems like they got in some of the larger deluxe moments. This one here is the Zoo TV tour from 1993. And I do already have this in the collection, but it's really cool to see here. Oh, and to the left over here, we've got a bunch of Pokemon ones. We've got a bunch of Charmander. Oh, this is weird. Check this out. It's like the, wait a second. This is like the Spanish version. Cause if you look on the side here, it has like three different names. Ooh, I might have to go for this. It's only 20 bucks. Yeah, we're going for it. And I might as well take a look in the rotating cabinet up here at the front where they've got like the Fireman Dumbo as well as like Bronze Metal Freddy. And then we've got Pinky and the Brain as well as Billy and then Queen Amidala with a much better box than mine. And up at the front here guys, they've got a bunch of sodas and I'm probably gonna have to go for some of these Donald Ducks because I do not have that chase yet. Okay, so I got all of my stuff over at the booth, some pretty exciting figures. Now I think, Nate, we wanted to go over to the Pokemon booth next. Yeah, there's a couple ones coming up. One that we're right around the corner for. I know they sell a lot of singles, so check that out. Maybe I'll get some stuff for a set or two. Oh, Oops. true, that'll be fun. And now while Nate and Noah are looking at Pokemon cards, I noticed over here some Pokemon pops a little more up my alley, but I do still really enjoy looking at these too. All right, so we've made it to the front of the line over here and we're seeing some of the cards and I gotta say there's some really cool graded stuff that Pikachu is really neat in the back and then over here I noticed that I think it was Noah looking at this Alolan Vulpix that one's really sick and so for now I don't know if I'm gonna be getting anything but I do always love looking at these cabinets all right so at that booth there I was thinking of getting the rapid strike one but I don't know if I need rapid strike or single strike so I left it for now it's for my brilliant star set and it was a really cool card but here's the thing I would hate to buy two of them so I'm just gonna wait on it for now I'll check when I go home and then maybe next time we come back I'll pick it up if I do need it oh and it looks like guys now we are over at another Pokemon booth which also has pops and now before we even take a look at the pops I want to take a look at the cards in the front here and you guys know I'm a big fan of the Pikachu ones I mean come on take a look at this the brand new crown Zenith one ah, I'd rather just pack it though you know what I mean it's more fun to me but if it ever comes down to it we'll probably come back here for it I know coming into the booth guys I figured I might as well show these off too they've got a bunch of Funko Pops and I always love taking a look at the White Castle slider over there Madam Mim Dragon as well as a bunch of the Wally ones gotta love them okay so I didn't think I was going to but I ended up grabbing two boxes of crown Zenith we'll have to check them out when we get back to the office Alrighty, so we are now out of the flea market. I got all of my stuff, and now we are coming over to another place, which is that secret store that we talked about a little while ago, the Toy Trove. Let's go in. So I took a look at their other section last time I was here, but I figured we might as well take a look at these guys. We've got like the Mandalorian, Labras, like a lot of Pokemon ones, Angelica, some Naruto, Tokyo Ghoul, and Pidgeot is a really cool one at the top. And then over here to the left, I noticed that they actually have some of the office mini moments with the Chase one of Michael, and then they also have Dwight, Daryl, and Pam. Pretty neat. And now if you guys want to see the other section that I was talking about, it is these guys here, which have some cool figures, but I mean, there's nothing else that I'm really on the hunt for because I did pick them up last time. So I think, I think I'm okay for today, but it was always good to check. Well, everybody, we're back. And now looking at the stuff that I got, it's some pretty interesting things. And now I want to start with the Pokemon cards that I got because I felt a little inclined to pick up a couple. Nate was also making a video. And if you guys haven't checked him out, I definitely recommend his channel. He should have a video all about the flea market up now. So seriously, a lot of fun. And let's take a look at this one first. It's actually one that I needed for my brilliant star set and it is the Bolton Alt Art. And now I think with me getting this card, I only need 25 more than I've got the entire set. And I know that it sounds like a lot, but it's a big set. And then the other things that I got were these here the brand new Crown Zenith boxes. I got the Reggie Drago V, which I'm super excited about with the promos, as well as the Regilecki one. I mean, come on, they look great. Both of these were $30 and they come with four packs of Crown Zenith. So I thought for fun, let's crack them open now. All right, everybody, check this out. The Regilecki big card. That thing looks amazing. And I wish that Funko would make more Pokemon pops because they're only doing like three at a time and there are so many more that I would like to see, like Regilecki and Reggie Drago. Or even like a Snorlax would be amazing. But the thing is, there's over a thousand Pokemon, so there's definitely a lot that I still need to see. Or would like to see, and anyways, let me check out the Reggie Drago big card, then we'll get into the packs, and I mean, come on guys, there it is. And I'm also kind of curious what type of hits we're gonna be getting, because I opened up an ETB and got seven hits out of 10 packs, so let's see how we do here. Uh, and for the first pack, we got, ooh, I need this one, uh, I don't have it, the reverse energies, I don't know, they look pretty good, and then, nothing crazy. And now everybody, we are on to pack number two, which is, I guess I'll just do the reverse hollow here. Mewtwo and ah, nothing great again. You know what guys? I saw something kind of poking out in the back here. So I figure I'll show you guys just in case. Friends and Hitsui and ooh. 
Is that a VMAX? It is. It's a Hatterene VMAX. Hey, not too shabby. Okay, so, so far we've only got the one hit, but we've got one pack left, and I figure I might as well show you guys this one no matter what it is. But I guess the thing is you do get the promo, so that's kind of a bonus. We've got Rockruff, the energy, energy retrieval, and then... Ah, Really? Okay, now let's get into the pops that I got today because there was two pretty cool ones that I grabbed, like the original Beast. And what I love about this one is it's actually another figure to help complete my set because when you take a look at the back, I've got about half of these now. And for anybody wondering, I've got Jack Skellington, Sally, Boo, the Beast, Minnie Mouse, Steamboat, Willie. So I've got like, yeah, maybe about five or six more to go. It's not too bad. And also the figure was only $40. And I'm not exactly sure how much it goes for, but I mean, hey, you can't really complain, especially because this figure came out in 2015. Well, actually, now that I say that, it released way earlier than that. They were probably just making them up to 2015, but hey, still a like, really cool one to find. And then the other pop that I grabbed, as well as two sodas, which will open up after, is the Metallic Charmander, or Salamenche in Spanish. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I seriously thought this was so weird, I had to grab it. Like, why was this figure there? I have no clue. And of course, a lot of you guys know this, I do have every single Pokemon pop, so I figure if there's anything weird like this showing up somewhere, I might as well grab it. And I'm guessing this is just one that showed up in a different country somewhere, maybe like Mexico or Spain, or I'm not exactly sure. Okay, but you know what? It does say on the bottom here, distribution by, and then it says UK, Funko UK, so probably Spain if I were to guess. And I mean, this thing was only 20 bucks, so practically retail. And I also really enjoyed that this is the metallic version of Charmander, and I honestly did not know that this was a thing, so maybe if I could get one, oh, you know what would be really cool? If I could get one with Japanese on the front? I don't even know if that's possible. If somebody knows how to get one of those, please let me know. And now, everybody, let's get into the two sodas that I grabbed, which was the same character, but I ended up grabbing two of the Donald Duck from D23. And so when I was picking them out, I felt one and it seemed a little bit heavier. I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be the chase, but it is him holding the wooden sword, and it seemed a little bit bigger than the common, so it might be. And all right, everybody, here we go. Let's find out if he's got a sword. I'm not seeing it. This looks very, yeah, he's very swordless in this one. <laughs> but I gotta say, though, even though this doesn't have the sword, it's still a pretty neat soda. It's just too bad that I do already have this one. If you guys are curious on the limited edition, it is one out of 12,500. So not too crazy, but still pretty fun to have. And now let's get into the second one here, which may be, I think this one was the one that was a little bit heavier. And so I guess we can find out if my hand weighing skills paid off. Okay, here, <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about this one, but I hope it is. I'm not seeing a sword. <sighs> yeah, there is definitely no sword on this one. And now just to make sure, let me check the pog. No, this is definitely the common. Ah, I tried. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today's video. And don't forget to go and check out my Pop Around the World on Funko's YouTube channel, which I will, again, have linked in the description down below. It was seriously a lot of fun to film. And anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.